Hello, good evening to the good. that are already here. Good evening. I'm expecting the other ones to connect throughout the session, but it's already time for us to start. So we're going to start because, you know, we just have one hour and sometimes one hour is not enough. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm expecting the other ones to get connected throughout the session. So um, let me just check here. So every single time uh, when we start a new class, what we are going to do is that I'm going to ask you questions regarding to the previous topic. In this case, um, yesterday's class was a little bit about daily routines. So today, before we move on to today's topic, I'm going to ask you questions regarding to that so, um, so I can verify that you were able to understand. So, but I want to know, guys, uh, can you hear me clearly? Can you listen to me? Yes, teacher. Great. Okay, thank you. Because, you know, sometimes the internet is not working or something is happening and we lost connection or something like that. So that's, that's why I always like to confirm, just to verify that everything is doing okay. So welcome to the ones that I just see got connected to this session. Welcome guys. And as I was saying, uh, I'm going to ask you questions regarding to the previous topic, which means that from yesterday's class, I'm going to ask you questions, okay? Yesterday's class was about vocabulary, about daily routines. So uh, for the people that are already here, so we're gonna have a little bit of practice before we move on to, the, uh, to today's topic. So let's see. Um, I'm just waiting for the others here. It's probably to get connected. I know it's, a02 and probably some some people are just coming back from from work and i completely understand that so welcome to the others that i see that just connected to the session welcome welcome thank you very much for being part of this session once again remember guys even though i'm not passing the list i'm always taking verifying that everyone is here and when you are participating, I'm taking the list, okay? So if you're not attending to the class, please let me know so we can see, uh, we can verify what we can do with the class that you couldn't be able to attend. So uh, let's see. So we're gonna have a practice right now. And what I need you to do guys is that I'm going to tell you something in Spanish and in the chat that we have on the call, in this chat, I need everyone to answer what I'm going to ask you. It's going to be vocabulary about the same things that we saw yesterday. So you shouldn't, I mean, you shouldn't be worried about it because I'm pretty sure that you probably remember a little bit about it. So let's start. Let's see, how do we say guys, vestirse? How do we say that? Write it down. I need everyone to write it down on the chat. Necesito que lo escriban en el chat. Vestirse. That was on the vocabulary that we saw yesterday. Estaba en el vocabulario que vimos ayer. So go ahead. Let's see. Vamos a ver si es cierto, porque yesterday nadie tenía preguntas. So I guess that was pretty clear. So let's see. We are 11 right now. So I'm guess. I'm guessing I'm going to receive 10 answers, pretty much. So how do we say vestirse? Be honest, please. No se vaya a Google, no se vaya a translator. Si lo sabe, bueno. Si no lo sabe, okay. Pero no se esté yendo al translator, que siempre el translator me va a decir si usted ha ido a verlo o no. Why? Because once you know English, una vez se sabe inglés, Se identifica rápidamente si usted ha utilizado translator. Okay, so Rodrigo, I can see your answer here. Thank you very much. What about the others? Jenny, Elizabeth, Georgina, Melissa, Andrea, Carlos, Luis, 
Christian. Oh, we have two Luis. We have Luis Chavez and Luis Montano. Claudia, what about you? I'm asking you something. Please try to participate. Okay, I just got Carlos Argueta to dress, he said. Okay, I got Luis Chavez too. All right, so what about the others? If you know, si usted no lo sabe, escriba, I don't know, no lo sé. Why? Because we have to be honest. Hay que ser honestos. Don't go to Google, please. Don't use Google Translator. Don't use it, just be honest. So I just received, solo he recibido tres y somos doce. So what about the others? Todavía me falta Melissa, Rocío, Georgina, Jenny Elizabeth, Andrea, uh, Luis, um, Luis Montano, Christian, Claudio. So for the ones that just connected, para los que se acaban de conectar, I was asking you, les estaba preguntando, how do we say vestirse? That's from the vocabulary that we saw yesterday. So I received Melissa Chicas. Thank you very much, Melissa. Okay, I will give you an extra minute, un minuto más. So if the others do not participate, I'm gonna take that as a no participation because I'm still missing falta Georgina, I'm still missing Luis Montano, I'm still missing Christian, I'm still missing Claudia. Claudia. Okay, I, I received already Christian. I got Jenny's already. Thank you. I don't, okay, Christian. Okay, thank you for your honesty. What about Georgina? I'm still missing yours, Georgina. Rocio, yours too. Georgina, I didn't. Okay. All right, that's good. Luis, uh -huh. so what happened? So you see, that's the reason why I was asking you yesterday. Incluso ayer les preguntaba, is there any question? Why? Todos calladitos. So now we can see the results. I understand guys are probably from one day to another is going to be a little bit complicated for you to kind of memorize or to, you know, to learn some things. That's completely understandable. But uh, as long as you study, you know, you have the YouTube channel, if you didn't understand something or if you want to remember something, you can go ahead and check the class recorder. So you can see the recording on YouTube so you can study once again what we saw. So, uh, well, let me tell you guys that the only person, la única persona que lo dijo como lo vimos en el vocabulario es Melissa. So the way we say vestirse is get dressed. Get dressed, that's the way we say it, okay? So for the others, Los demás, no recibí nada. That, well, Georgina, she said, I do not know. No recibí nada de, let's see. Claudia, I didn't see anything. What happened, Claudia? And also, I didn't see, let's see, Rocio, I didn't receive anything from you. All right, so we're going to move on uh, to another. Let's see how it goes in this one. How do we say regar las plantas? How do we say that? Please. Write it down on the chat. Regar las plantas. If you do not know, si no lo saben, once again, say, I do not know, or I don't know. Because this is just, I'm checking. Solamente es una forma para mí verificar quienes se recuerdan and how how many of you were like kind of paying attention or something like that? So we are 11 right now, so someone left. I haven't got any answer yet. Rain to plant, okay. 
That was a good try, uh, Rodrigo. Thank you very much. That was a good try. All right, so let's see what about the others. Okay, that was a good try too, Melissa. Thank you very much. Okay, Luis Chavez, thank you very much. Luis Montano, thank you too. Okay, Carlos, great. Thank you very much, Carlos. I'm still missing Rocio, still missing Jenny. I'm still missing Christian, Gabriela, Claudia once again, and Georgina. Well, I received, okay, Jenny, she's saying she does not know. Okay, what about the others? Well, um, actually with the ones that I just received, okay, Georgina, thank you very much, rain the plants. Christian Lopez, rain the plants, okay. All right, so, well, let me tell you guys that according to the vocabulary that we saw yesterday, we say, let me write it down. In English, we say water the plants, or we can also say watering plants. So we have these two options, okay? So we do not say, no decimos rain the plants. Because if we say that, it will be something like llover las plantas, like rain, like lluvia. So we cannot say that in English. So uh, I guess we have to study, guys. Si sí veo que tenemos que estudiar a little bit more. Because some of you, I don't know if you're going to Google or not. There's no way for me to verify that. But I'm hoping you're not. So, okay. Um, uh, before we, we move on to another thing, guys, I also wanted to remember you that since yesterday, you are able to start working on the platform. Uh, so if you don't have any access or if you're having any trouble in the platform, please let me know. ¿Alguien está teniendo problemas en la platform so far? Or is everything okay? Uh, it, no, it means no problem, or it means no, uh, no, I don't, I have a problem. No problems. I'm going to take that as, as no problem. So remember, guys, that you have to start working on the exercises that we have there. And in case you have any question or something, please, that's the reason why we have the WhatsApp group. So you can, uh, you know, send messages there and ask for any help. Okay, thank you for, for confirming. So, okay, ahora resulta que sí, todos están diciendo no problem. Y cuando estamos en el vocabulary, nobody was saying anything. Aha, uh -huh. I will be checking this group. I noticed, guys, that some of you, it's really hard to make you participate, but I will ask you to participate a lot. Aunque no quieran hablar, I will force you to speak. Because the reason why we're here is because we want to speak. Yes? Usted no solo quiere escribir el idioma. You want to speak it. So you want people to understand you what you're saying, okay? So we're going to try to practice as much as we can, and we're going to do a lot of things to make you practice. So I'm going to move on to today's topic, guys. Today's is going to be, uh, once again, more vocabulary. So in this case, if you need, or if you want me to send you the presentations through the WhatsApp group, you let me know so I can do that for you, okay? That's not a problem. So, but you let me know. So today, guys, it's our second class. We're going to move on to vocabulary about transportation. I'm pretty sure that probably some of you already know some, some vocabulary, because, for example, there's some means of transportation that we use every day. For example, does any one of you know how to say bus? How do we say that in, in English? 
How do we say bus in English? Bus. Bus. Yeah. Who are you? Thank you very much, Carlos, for your participation. Yeah, we say bus. I mean, uh, those are very common things. Does any one of you know how to say uh, motocicleta? Motorcycle. 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 That's great. Who are you? What was your name? Oh, Rodrigo. Okay, I guess. Thank you, Rodrigo. So, how do we say carro? That's pretty pretty easy. Car. Car. Okay. So that's a mean of transportation. So. As I was saying, I understand that some of you, I mean, already know some things about this vocabulary. So what we're going to learn today is just some new parts or some new things of, of the vocabulary that probably you have never seen. Or how to ask some questions about transportation. So we're going to move on. And the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to have a small definition about what is the trans, uh, mean of transportation or what is transportation. So I would like to have, in this case, I'm going to ask the help of Mr. Alexander Elias. Alexander, go ahead, please, and help me reading from here, from here until here, hasta acá. So Alexander, go ahead, please. Alexander. Uh, good night, teacher. Hey. So can you help me, Alexander? Just read. Uh, From here what until is, here. What is uh, transportation? Mm -hmm. Is the moment also months animals from one slot to not. Okay, thank you very much, Alexander. Now let's see, uh, I will need, let me see someone else. Christian Lopez, Christian, can you please help me, Christian, reading from here until here? Okay. In other words, the action of transportation is definitely as a particular moment of an organism or thing from a point A to the point B. Okay, great, thank you. Now, let me read it to you and you pay attention to some mispronunciations or probably any pronunciation that you didn't know how to say it. So I'm gonna read it. What is transportation? Is the movement of humans animals from one location to another. In, the, in other words, the action of transportation is defined as a particular movement of an organism or thing from point A to the point B, okay? So uh, thank you, Christian, and also thank you, Alexander, for your help reading this part. So basically, what we're saying here, guys, is that means of transportation are those things that are going to help us to obviously move from one place to another. That's the reason why transportation was invented. Of course, there's some things that probably are not very common. For example, not every day we're going to use something like this. No todos los días nos vamos a subir a un cohete. That's weird not even a submarine, not even a boat, or not even a, a, a something like this balloon, a fire hot balloon. So we're not gonna do that every single day. So those means of transportation are probably the one that we had in El Salvador before it was a train, but we don't longer have trains in El Salvador. There are some other countries in which there's obviously more technology in those countries, they have, of course, those transportations that we are not able to have in El Salvador. So let's see. We're gonna start right now with these type of transport or we have different, you know, we have the road transport, the rail transport, we have some others. And in this case, I will need, let me see, Melissa. Melissa Chicas, go ahead, Melissa, and help me reading the first part, this part right here. 
Okay. Uh, type of transport. Mm -hmm. Road transport. People traveling on the road are cyclists mm -hmm. or they are using a certain type of vehicle mm -hmm. such as automobiles, bicycles, bus, vans, or trucks. That was good. That was really good, Melissa. Thank you very much. So as it says here, road transport, people traveling on the road are cyclists or they are using a certain type of vehicle such as automobiles, bicycles, buses, vans, or trucks. All right, so those, we call them transporte de calle, road transport, the ones that we can see every single day when you go to work or when you're moving from one point to another. Those are the most common that we have. There's also rail transport, and then this one I will need, let me see who I can ask you. Georgina, Georgina, go ahead, Georgina. Rail transport. Mm -hmm. This includes a uh, transport over rails. This can be either for passenger mm -hmm. or good transport and with different modes of transport, such as trains. Metro. Okay, thank you. As it says there, this includes all transport over rails. This can be either for passengers or goods transport and with different modes of transport such as trains and metro. I mean, we don't have an El Salvador metro. We don't all, we don't longer have trains. There's the, the rail museum, I guess, that still exists. There's some, there's some of them there, but I really don't know if that works. Have you ever gone to that museum? Alguien ha ido a ese museo? Do they work? Do trains work there or not? Not at all. Do they work? No, okay. All right, so. I'm going to move on to this part, and I'm going to need, in this case, Luis Montano. Go ahead, Luis. Luis Montano, are you there? Ugnay, water transport. Mm -hmm. Water transport or chips transport is water glass covering people passenger. Okay, thank you, Luis. So as it says there, water transport or ship transport is watercraft carrying people passengers. So are those things that we know that are on the water, you know, ships, boats, different type of transportations that we have on the water. So now we're going to move on to the air transport. And then this one, I will need Gabriela Salinas. Gabriela, are you there? Gabriela, one. I, I transport. Okay. I transport includes mm -hmm. I'll transport to the air in an umber, a regional context. That's mm -hmm. I transport mm -hmm. includes local I traffic should small mm -hmm. I planes or helicopters. Okay, so pay attention to this one, guys. We don't say air, we say air. Air transport. Air transport includes all transport through the air. In a urban or regional context, this air transport includes local air traffic, such as small airplanes or helicopters. What is an airplane, guys? What's this? ¿Qué es esto? Airplane, what is that? 
Un avión. 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 And obviously a helicopter is a helicopter. Un helicopter. That's what we already know that. Now, we have the last one. And in this one, I will need Andrea Presa's help. Go ahead, Andrea. Andrea Presa. Hi, good afternoon. Hey, hello. Hi. Yes, I can listen to you. Go ahead. Eh, perdón, casi no lo escucho. Estoy teniendo problemas con, el, con la conexión de internet. No sé si ustedes me escuchan bien. De hecho, ni siquiera eh, me está cargando la página. Oh, it's Estoy okay. So, por... don't worry. Don't worry about it. It's, it's okay. So, uh, le vamos a preguntar a alguien más. It's okay. So, in this case, I'm going to ask, let's see, Jenny Elizabeth. Jenny. Jenny Elizabeth. Hola. Yes, I can listen to you. Can you help me reading? Okay. Public transport. Public mm -hmm. transport is passenger transport, which is public transport. Available. Mm -hmm. This can furthermore be distinguished is collective and individual transport. Okay. Examples of collective public transport are transport B bus, transport metro, trains, and plane. Okay, great. So as it says there, guys, public transport, passengers transport, which is publicly available. This can furthermore be distinguished and collective and individual transport. We have some examples of collective transport, the ones that the majority of us probably use. Like lo, lo que utilizamos mayoritariamente, like buses, Tran Metro that we don't have in El Salvador, unfortunately, we don't have train and we, we have planes, but only for going from one country to another. The one, the most common one that we use is buses or micro buses. Those are the ones that we use. Now, we're going to move on, <clears throat> I'm sorry, with, with the vocabulary that we have for today. So what I'm going to do in this case is, that I'm going to read it two times, the same word, and then as we were doing yesterday, I will ask everyone. Todos van a participar, okay? So I will read it two times. That's what I'm going to do. So number one, ferry, ferry, car, car, bike, bike, truck, truck, Propeller plane, propeller plane, jeep, jeep, motorcycle, motorcycle, golf cart, golf cart, helicopter, helicopter, hot air balloon, hot air balloon, canoe, train, plane. All right, now let's see. Rocio Funes, I need you to help me with number one and number two. Go ahead. Yes, ferry, car. Thank you very much. Rocio, now let's go with Georgina. Number three, number four. Bike, truck. Thank you. Now let's go with Jenny Elizabeth, number six and seven. No, five and six, I'm sorry. Propeller plane, jeep. Thank you very much. Now we're going to move on with Melissa Chicas. Number seven and number eight. Motorcycle, golf cart. Okay, now we're gonna move on with Luis Montano, number nine and number 10. Helicopter. Hot air balloon. Hot air balloon, okay. Hot air balloon. Okay, Rodrigo, Jose, number 11 and 12. Okay, 
canoe and train. Thank you very much. Carlos Argueta, number 13, numero 13, and then la numero uno once again. Train, carry. Thank you very much. Luis Chavez, two and three. Luis Chavez. Perdón, no la había quitado en mute. Ferry, car, bike. Great. Claudia Maria, four and five. Clock. Clock and plane. Okay. Alexander Elias, six and seven. Chip. Auto. Motorcycle. Okay, we say Jeep, Jeep and motorcycle. Jeep, motorcycle. Okay, great. Andrea Presa, let's go with number eight and number nine. Andrea. Andrea Presa. Hello, Andrea. Well, I'm going to guess she's not there. So we're going to go with Christian, number eight and number nine. Uh, golf car, helicopter. Helicopter. Now we go with Helen Penado. Now we go number 10 and number 11. Hot air balloon, canoe. Thank you very much, Helen. And the last one, Gabriela Salinas, number 12 and number 13. Tengo problemas ahorita con la, con la del Zoom. No me carga. You cannot see it. Okay, no problem. So we're going to say um, probably that's the internet connection. I understand that in some parts of El Salvador, still some rain. And you know, the, the connection is not that good still. Because, you know, we have a lot of things through... Uh, Julia's storm. Now, a uh, question for you all. Does any one of you have any question regarding to this vocabulary or do you all understand that? Um, what is hot air balloon? Hot air balloon, that's the what we call it, um, a lo que le llamamos son unos globos aerostáticos. That's what we call it. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, any other question, guys? Remember that we are going to have an exam. See, ¿Sí? les vamos a tener un examen. Okay, so if you don't know this vocabulary, I don't want you to have any issue there, okay? Well, so I'm going to move on to the next part of the vocabulary, and then we have this one. So once again, I'm going to read it twice, and then I will ask you to repeat it. Now, race car, race car, subway, subway, boat, boat, scooter, scooter, skateboard, skateboard, rocket. Rocket, submarine, submarine, taxi, taxi, bullet train, bullet train, van, zeppelin, zeppelin, ambulance, ambulance, tank, tank. Now, we're going to start with the first part. And in this case, I'm going to ask Melissa, number 14 and number 15. Go ahead, Melissa. Race car, subway. Thank you very much. Jose Rodrigo, 16 and 17. Boat, a scooter. Scooter, OK. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to tell you something in this, OK? Eh, desde ahorita vamos a empezar con estas pronunciaciones, chicos. Tenemos eh, el problema o la maña de que en español, cuando queremos pronunciar las palabras que empiezan con S al inicio, mencionamos una E. 
Y decimos scooter, por ejemplo. Scooter. Decimos una E al inicio que en inglés no se suena de esa manera. So what do we do? ¿Cuál es la pronunciación que hacemos? Every single time, cada vez que una palabra inicie con S, what we're going to do is el sonido de la, letra, de la letra S. What's the sound? ¿Cuál es el sonido? That's the sound. So here, usted no tiene que decir scooter, porque scooter, no. We say scooter, scooter. So we are just going to make the pronunciation of the sound of the letter S, not a letter E, ¿ok? Desde ya vamos a empezar a trabajar en eso. La próxima vez que se los escucha a alguien, le voy a empezar a corregir. So, because the reason why we're here is to try to pronounce it well. So, thank you, uh, Rodrigo. Now we're going to go with Carlos Argueta, number 18 and number 19. Hey, bro. Okay. Great. Great. That was good. Thank you very much, sir. Now we're going to move on with Claudia Maria. Let's go with number uh, 20 and number 21. Submarine. Submarine and taxi. Okay, great. Now, Alexander Elias, let's go ahead and read 22 and 23. All train. Mm -hmm. Bang. Ben. Okay. Christian, let's go with 24, 25, and 26. Christian Lopez. Okay, okay. Zeppelin. Mm -hmm. Ambul ambulance. 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 Yeah. Tank. Tank. Great. Now, Helen. Yeah. I will need your help, Helen, with number 14, 15, and 16. Race car, subway, boat. Boat. We say boat. Boat. So, boat. see uh, Andrea Presa, number 17, 18, and 19. Um, scooter. Skate. Mm -hmm. Cooter, keyboard. Mm -hmm. And Rocket. Rocket, great. Now let's see. Now we're going to ask Rocio. Rocio, go ahead with number 20, 21, and 22. Submarine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bullet sign. Bullet train. Okay, thank you very much. Georgina, let's go with you. 23, 24, 25, and 26. Georgina? Van. Mm -hmm. Zeppelin. Mm -hmm. Ambulance. Mm -hmm. Tank. Tank. Okay. Now, is there anyone or any of the words that we have here that you do not understand? Or did you understand it all? Si lo entendieron todo, or do you have any questions so far? Race car, teacher. I'm sorry? Race car. Race car, carro de carreras. Oh. Mm -hmm. Bullet train? Bullet train is lo que llamamos tren Bala, the one that goes fast, el que va super rápido. Okay, okay. The train, train bala. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 Zeppelin. Zeppelin, Zeppelin, it's a sort of, es un tipo de bote pequeñito donde solo cabe una persona. It's like uh, one person. Eh, es utilizado únicamente oh. eh, eh, por personas que... Eh, que practican ese deporte es just a small a small boat como un un botecito chiquitito donde solo es for one person van en tren I'm sorry dice como un globo Zeppelin uh no not really not really okay thank you mm -hmm. 
So someone else had any question? Escuché que alguien más preguntó algo por ahí, but I didn't listen. What does that mean? Uh, bank? bank? Tank. Tank. Oh, bank? Oh, you mean this one, number 23? Uh, this one does not... Uh, translation. Esta no tiene una traducción, ya que la adaptamos como español hablantes, la adaptamos a nuestro idioma, y es a, la, a las camionetas que nosotros le llamamos van. Por ejemplo, usted la ve y te dice, hey, mira, esa es una van. So that's the same thing. So it does not have a translation. No tiene una traducción. It's just a car. Okay. And 26? 26 tank. Es tank. Tanque. Tank. Tanque. Okay. All right. So I guess we're clear with this part right now. So we're going to move on to the last part. Nos vamos a mover a la última parte, which is this. And then we're going to move on to the practice. So once again, I'm going to repeat it twice. And then I ask you. So comper, comper, catamaran, catamaran, train, tow truck, cruiser, delivery truck, delivery truck, glitter, glitter, Garbage truck, garbage truck, kayak, kayak, jet, jet, snowmobile, snowmobile, sailboat, sailboat, and ship, ship. All right, now let's see. Um, I would like to have on this part for Mr. Let's see. Mr. Well, no, Miss Helen. Miss Helen, can you please help me with number 27, 28, and 29? Go ahead, please, Helen. Camper, mm -hmm. catamaran, train. Mm -hmm. Train. Great. Thank you very much. Andrea, let's go with number 30, 31, and 32. To truck, cruiser, delivery truck. Okay, this one, number 30, was say tow, tow truck. Tow truck, mm -hmm. tow truck. That was good, thank you. Now, let's see Luis Chavez. Let's go with 33, 34, and 35. Glida, mm -hmm. garbage truck. Mm -hmm. Kayak. Kayak. Okay. Now we're going to move on with Alexander Elias, number 36, 37, 38, and 39. A chat. Mm -hmm. A slap model. Okay. Side up. Say it again. 38. Side up. Sailboat, sailboat. Sail, stay back. Okay. Now, um, is there any question, guys? Alguna pregunta so far? Um, 34. 34 is... ¿Cuál es la garbage. 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 Truck. Es el carro de la basura. Mm -hmm. Garbage truck. truck. Any other question? A snowmobile. Snowmobile. Yeah, snowmobile. Snowmobile. Es a lo que le llamamos un carro de nieve. Snowmobile. Someone else, or are we clear on that part? Uh, the church. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to ask Alexander first, and then I will go with 38. Alexander, what's your question? Shit. Oh, oh, be careful 30. there. Uh, be careful. Uh, uh, hay que ser, tener un poquito de cuidado con esta pronunciación de acá. 
Porque lo que yo te acabo de entender, según la pronunciación que dijiste, es algo completamente diferente a lo que tenemos acá. So, this one, la pronunciación es ship. With ship. Ship. Porque se puede malentender con otra palabra que creo que la mayoría de ustedes saben que es una mala palabra en inglés. So, ship. Ship. Ok. Be careful there, ok. Hay que ser un poquito cuidadosos. Es por eso, chicos, that's why the pronunciation is always important. Porque usted puede estar pensando que le está diciendo barco a alguien y lo que la persona le va a estar entendiendo no es barco, sino otra cosa. So be careful there. So um, I heard, escuché que alguien más preguntó number 38, que es sailboat, es un bote de pescar, sailboat. So, uh, if there's no any other questions, si no hay ninguna otra pregunta, we're going to go directly to the practice. Nos vamos a ir a la práctica. So, questions, preguntas, no? No questions. No questions. Thank you very much for confirming. So, let's, let's move on to this. Uh, before we go to the practice, let's do this. Um, it's really easy. Cuando usted quiere saber en qué medio de transporte alguien se eh, moviliza, la pregunta que le va a hacer es, how do you come to? Aquí le podemos cambiar school por la oficina, the university, for, you know, different places, ¿sí? Para diferentes lugares. Pero siempre vamos a preguntar, how do you come to? ¿Cómo vienes, in this case, to school, a la escuela? And we say, I come, yo vengo by car, en carro. And say I come by taxi in taxi. I come by bus. I come by train. I come by motorcycle. And those are some examples that we have. For example, si yo le pregunto, let's see, let's do a practice. Uh, Carlos Argueta. If I ask you, Carlos, for example, how do you come to work? How do you come to work? I come to work in car. By car. We say by car, in car. Okay, by car. that's good. All right, so I guess, remember, esta es la pregunta que vamos a utilizar. How do you come to? Y aquí solo le cambiamos el lugar. That's the only thing that we're going to do. When we want to know what is the mean of transportation that someone is using, okay? Now, if there's no any other question, we're going to go directly to the practice. No vamos a la práctica. And in this case, what we're going to do is that, let's see, no, this is speaking activity. Uh, I need you to take a screenshot. Necesito que tomen a screenshot of your phone if you're using your phone or if you're using your computer. You can also take a picture of that. And what I need you to do, necesito que todos en el grupo que le toque, lean lo mismo. Todos van a leer esta parte. I will be checking, los voy a estar verificando a todos, and then we're going to see some mispronunciation, alguna pronunciación que no la hizo bien. So, uh, this is number one. Can I move? ¿Me puedo mover a la siguiente? Can I move to the next one? Can I move? Yes. Great. So now this is the next one. What I need you to do in this part, lo que van a hacer en esta parte, it's only solamente write the mean of transportation. Escribir el nombre of the image that you can see, the small image there. That's the only thing that you're going to do. So this is number two. And this is number three. En esta... Necesito que encuentren seis medios de transporte. Seis. All right. So that's what we're going to do. This is a practice that we're going to have in those 10 minutes that we still have tonight. So can I, I will stop sharing. Voy a detener acá. And then I'm going to create groups and I will need you to go to the breakout rooms.
So let's see, I'm going to move on this person here, this person here, this person in here, and this person in here. All right, so we're going to move on right now. Go ahead, please, and join your rooms. Christian and Jenny, what happened with you? Are you having any problem trying to connect to, to your group? I saw that someone asked for help. So what's going on? Eh, teacher, era de encontrar, ¿cómo se llama? En los medios de transporte, en la sopa electra. Pero... Yes, correct. Six, seis. Es... Que no le tomamos captura. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, let me, let me show it to you right now. Okay, teacher. Thank okay. you. All um, right. Bicycle, motorcycle, um, bus, 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 and of course, some people. Is walk, but some cities are famous for the types of transport people use. Okay. Ahí se caía mejor. <laughs> okay. Okay. Entonces, the next exercise. Okay. Es practical. de la... Está okay, uno, alguien más. Solo una. Yo, ahorita voy. People in cities need to use different types of means of transport to move around. Of course, some people in cities walk, but some cities are famous for the types of transport people use. Yo un screenshot tomé, pero igual estoy desde el teléfono. Pero igual podríamos quizás este anotarlo Ajá. en el orden que oh. corresponde, solo oh, para tomar nota. Eh, teacher, podemos poner la segunda en el chat. Car, train, bus. 
Oh, uh, I don't know if you have, uh, no sé si tienen notebook. ¿Alguien tiene algún cuaderno? Para que... Yes, I have. Yes. Okay, so if you have yes. one, so you can write it there. Lo pueden escribir ahí. So if I ask you tomorrow something, you have the answers already. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh... Okay, the ones that just came back, did you complete the exercises? Completaron los ejercicios? Did you complete them all or no? A nosotros nos faltó la sopa de letras. All right, good. So, uh, I'm just gonna wait for the others to come back. Vamos a esperar que todos vuelvan a la main session and then I'm going to give you some instructions. All right, so I see that the majority is coming back right now. All right, so I see that the majority is here. So guys, uh, if you didn't finish the exercises, si no terminó los ejercicios, that's gonna be a homework, va a ser tarea. For tomorrow, in case, in algún caso, during the day, I understand, probablemente trabajan durante el día and you're tired and I understand that. So, in case something happens, something really bad happens, si algo malo pasa or we don't know what's going to happen, so you can text me. Pueden hacérmelo saber. Okay? So, uh, explain me the situation. But other than that, the otra forma, no. You have to do the exercises. So, so uh, I can ask you tomorrow and if I ask you, you are going to have the answers already. So uh, basically, guys, it's going to be all for today. Thank you very much for the ones that were here for being uh, in the class. So I will see you guys tomorrow at the same time by the same channel, okay? Have a good night, you all. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night.